Hi, this is Brian Reese with Easy Flow Tutorials, and today we're going to show you or give you an idea of how to create a flyer. Now, the way that I create flyers is, first of all, I just want to give you an idea of how to set it up. First of all, you always want a picture, you always want some kind of photograph, you want a background, you want a title, name, address, time, and then maybe a little slogan or statement at the bottom. The best thing to do, the first thing to do, is always make sure that your title stands out. It doesn't just stand out. Um, haphazardly or randomly you have to actually make it stand out the way I made this one stand out was to go over to the layer over here to the right okay and double click on it and open up the uh, layer style panel Okay, layer style panel popped open I put a stroke around it okay you can adjust it here just by simply clicking on stroke in order to open up these panels you actually have to click on the word or on the panel itself the, the, the uh, layer itself to open it we have the layer size, excuse me, the size and structure of the stroke. We also have the color, okay, right here, the color. Go ahead and click on that. You can change it to whatever you like. And also, you can change it to normal and the different kind of blend modes. Right now, I'm just leaving it normal. Right now, I'm just going to leave it at normal. Okay, so we have it at normal. We go down and put an outer glow around it. As you see here, there's an outer glow around it. See, when I click it off, the glow disappears. Click it on, the glow comes right back. Okay, great. We go ahead and click OK. I'm clicking cancel because I've already done that. And then what I did was I created a background. It's good to have a background behind your photograph. So I created a background and I did that like this. I went on and pulled in a random picture. Not a random picture. A picture I actually, it's random for me, but you don't want to just do a random one. You want to find one that works for you. And we'll go ahead and back that up so I can show you exactly what I did. Oops, sorry. Let me back that up put everything back in let's do it backwards okay now it's an easier way to do that but I just did it that way um, and I want all this black background to come out how do I do that glad you asked the question the way I do that is by going up to select and color range okay I want to choose a color range that I want to delete so I'll go ahead and choose color range and then it pops up with this panel okay the color range panel I don't want the color to disappear. I want the black background to disappear. So I click in the furthest, darkest area region of it, of the picture, and I go ahead and click OK. Now, you see that it's selected everything. The way you delete all of that is, of course, by pressing the delete button on your keyboard. Okay? Then you go back up to select and deselect. All right, there we go. Now, you go up to the drag tool. I call it the drag tool and you drag it into your photograph. Now I've dragged it into my photograph and I placed it in the background. Okay, go ahead and turn off all these other layers for the moment. Okay, now we've done. And all I did was just stretch it out. That's all I did was stretch it out. Nothing, nothing amazing, nothing fantastic. Just stretched it out behind my photograph. Now I did the same thing to the photograph that I did to the background. I went and cut out the layer, cut them out from their background. So we went on over to uh, boyfriend girlfriend go ahead and except there's a different way you do it with these guys okay let me go ahead and click delete that one. okay the way you do it is this open it up and you go over here to the quick selection tool okay you want to make sure that it's on plus and then you begin to drag it around the edges of the portion of the program project that you want to cut out but a lot of times if it goes all the way down to the bottom like this one you're going to have to just go all the way around okay you want it to connect okay there we go now once you've done that you want to take the plus key and you want to drag it around the head and try to get it all lined up okay there we go get rid of all the unnecessary excess things sometimes you will make this mistake so go ahead and click negative key and it'll actually push everything around the hat and everything else okay so it looks pretty good we're not going to cut out this part here okay we're going to go ahead and leave it just like it is and the way that you get the picture off of the backgrounds by clicking or selecting control J see how it made a new selection here at the top so to turn off the background and you have this of course you have his head all cut out but it's because we didn't really take our time and line it up and everything the way we should have but that's that's basically in fact that's exactly how you do it so you play around with the plus and the negative and um, add and select 
to go ahead and make this a little bit more perfect and line up right around the edge of his hair. I feel like going back and fixing that, but I'm not going to right now because we're really just talking about how to create a, a uh, flyer, not how to cut out selections. Okay, so now go back, and now you have the party, my party, standing out, and you have a picture. Now, the picture didn't just have this glow. It didn't take the glow from the background. I had to create that glow. Okay, so go ahead and click on the layer, which is the picture layer, photo layer, and double click to open up the blend, the layer style panel again. Okay, so I went through there and I added a bevel and emboss, which actually kind of gives it a little bit of a curve, makes it stand out a little bit better. Okay, then I added an outer glow. Go ahead and click on outer glow, and you can adjust it and change it here uh, the, the opacity, the noise, the spread, the size, and all of that. And play around with that a little bit so you can see how it looks good to you. Okay, so you click OK, but I'm clicking cancel because I've already done that. Then you want to make sure that on your flyer, that you have the name, address, and time. So you go ahead and click tight, uh, excuse me, text tool. Go ahead and spread it out like that, and just begin to type in the information that you want to type. Okay, name, address, phone number, and that kind of thing. We're going to go ahead and click the Do Not Save It, and then you can also put a little selection on the bottom. The way I did this was I highlighted it. Okay, went up to here where it says the work for the color. Change the color click on it and you pull up the colors color picker or color selection tool okay and when you come off of the color picker it also gives you this eyedropper which means that you can go anywhere and select any color on here and it'll show up so watch watch as I select okay change it to purple change it to white or really really light blue uh, change it to purple again you know even uh, some beige pink color there so you pretty much go on the screen because you want to add color that's in there so that it all looks kind of, uh, so it kind of comes together pretty nicely. And you go ahead and click her hat again. Go ahead and click OK. And the words become the same color as her hat. Okay, so it kind of makes the hat stand out a little bit. So that's how you do it. That's how you begin to do it. This is not to show you how they are all done, but this is how you can do this particular kind. If you're doing a party flyer or something like that, then uh, this is a, an amazing way to do it, and it's fun. Just go ahead and play with it, enjoy it, and it will bring good results for you. All right, thank you very much for listening to this tutorial. Please like my page and subscribe. There will be many, many more tutorials to come, and you have a great day. This is Brian Reese with Easy Flow Tutorials. Have a great day. Bye-bye.